Welcome back to Media Mesh, where I give you my unapologetic opinion on everything from music, movies, news, reality, TV, and much more as we go down a rabbit hole all in five minutes or less. And please, if you are brand new, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. So Tiffany Haddish says she lost everything after this child abuse lawsuit. I really want to hear from you guys in the comment section as to whether you feel that this is the proper punishment. Obviously, she lost some money. And she lost uh, a whole lot of opportunities going forward. Now, some would argue and say that her contribution to the, the world, you know, on the main stage was not really uh, anything to write home about. You know, she just came across as, you know, this boisterous black woman, um, occasionally funny at times, but not really super talented in that area, as evidenced by her stand up performance. Um, but at the same time, this is also a black woman that's now out of work. These guys have a channel. I watched them and it's called Night and Day Network. And they had a, a very good um, show. And it was talking about how there's usually only one big black star at a time in terms of females in comedy. And if you think about it, like in the 80s, there was Whoopi Goldberg, who was out there outside of Whoopi Goldberg in the 80s. He got every movie that was um, had some comedy value to it, which is true. And then for a while there was Monique until she got blacklisted for keeping it too real. And then of course, once Monique was silenced, then here we go with her. So is that true? Or is it just, you know, can there be two great black comedians at the same time? I don't know. And how do you feel about her losing everything? Do you think she can come back or is this the end? Um, because, I mean, this was something that she did a long time ago. She knew it was wrong then. And instead of owning it, she tried to put it off on Ari Spears. So that's why I had a little beef to pick with her about that. Own it. There's nothing to be proud of. The question is, is like, what were you thinking at the time? You know, I know she was probably trying to get her foot in the door, trying to get out there and probably saying yes to everything. But there has to be limits to it. And then, you know, here we are. So what's next? I don't know. Tell me how you guys feel about it. Um, but, yeah, you probably won't be seeing her in any Popeyes commercials or any Groupons or She Ready, uh, Saturday Night Live, all that type of stuff. Because it goes, goes to show you when they put the machine behind you. We have the right people like Kevin Hart, obviously pushing her in the right direction. Like the world just opens up because, you know, I think she was a good actress in certain things. I think she's probably a better actress than a comedian, obviously. But I think she can act pretty good. But like to the extent to where she was going, it was like, wow, like is she that good? And I want to doubt nobody's talent or whatever, because I know what it is to try to, you know, pursue a dream. But then like when you're uh, pushed out there in the limelight and then when you look at their work, it's like, mm, I don't know. Is there something else going on here? Like, why is this person just like blowing up? Like, I know there's got to be a lot more talented people out there, but it does go to show you that it's not about just talent all the time. It's about who is saying that you are going forward. What's driving you to the next level? And in her case, like I mentioned, most likely it was Kevin Hart's influence who has been silent on this whole thing, far as I know. He hasn't said a word about this, but I don't know what's next. You guys let me know in the comments. In the meantime, stay blessed and make sure you like, share and subscribe. We got to get to that 1000, 1000. We can do it. All right. Until next time.